everyone and welcome back to the Gang Magazine's YouTube channel. It's nice to see you all on this very pleasant Saturday afternoon. If you are not already subscribed to our channel, feel free to click right here and you will be subscribed. We upload videos six days a week on all things, I'm calling it a wellness channel. That's like a, that's the word we're going to use for it. You guys can send us questions and we answer those questions the best we can six days a week um, and if you have a question for me send it to ask the gang magazine at gmail.com and in the subject put Nikki so I'm gonna read today's question and it says hey Nikki um and it says how do you ignore the haters I've been seeing your videos and I absolutely love them thank you uh, I have a question for you how do you think that I should react and process things when someone tells me something really rude do I ignore or do I just fight back Oh, I think that it kind of depends. So if someone is saying something to you in real life, I think that it well, once again also depends on the closeness of the relationship. If it's someone that maybe, let's say they're really close and they said something and it was rude, but you know them well enough to know, okay, this isn't who they are. This isn't their character. They just had like word vomit. I don't know about you guys. I have word vomit all the time. I say things and I instantly want to like take a fishing pole and like reel it all back in. I'm like, no, 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 I take that back. I don't want to say it. If it's someone who you really care about the relationship and they said something and it was blatantly offensive, then I think it sometimes weighing it out, once again, depending on the relationship, can be worth going to that person and saying like, hey, yo, I don't know if you meant it this way, but I want to tell you how I felt when you said this. And I think that sticking to how you felt when someone said something versus like attacking them for what they said is always a good route to go. But there's just so many variables. Like you kind of have to take into account the person too. Like if they're the kind of person that is going to receive what you're saying or if based on your history, you know that like it just won't go well. Because in that case, sometimes you do just have to go, okay, well, we're going to put a little distance there because you're just being a rude person and you're consistently being a rude person and I know if I talk to you this won't work. I don't know, that was really blabbery. I just think it really depends. Now, if it's online and someone says something to you, once again, I, th I think the best thing to do is to just like breathe, probably not take it personally because I know one thing for me, you can't, you can't hear tone online. I think sometimes the things that people write can be interpreted as hate when it's not even meant to be hate. Maybe they didn't even mean it rudely in the first place. Maybe they're just observing something. Maybe they're trying to help you. Also, with the internet, because people from all over the world can come on and chime, chime in with their opinions, you've got cultural differences. So, the example I like to give is when I lived in Singapore, um, a woman said to a girl that I know, she actually walked up to her, pinched her belly, and said, oh, you're looking very fat. Why don't you look more like her? And pointed at me. My friend was also like a Westerner and she was super like, like mortified obviously. And she was like, I can't even believe this. But we started to notice when we were over there that different cultures of people that we had met in Singapore were just more comfortable talking about their body and other people's bodies and being really blatant about it in a way that I had never heard discussed in the States. And so sometimes you have to, and they didn't find it rude or offensive and they weren't trying to be mean. So sometimes you also have to go, okay, could there just be like a cultural difference here? But I think just in general, if I had all that blabbering to say, if I were to sum it up into one final thing, it would be to just breathe and honestly, like be slow to react. I think that Bless you, person across the lake that's sneezing. I think just slowing down your response and not being quick to react when someone's a hater is the best advice I can give because there's usually a lot of factors. That person's dealing with their own stuff and I think it's just the best advice. I'm sure you guys have probably heard the story of like Abraham Lincoln when he was president. He had like one specific circumstance where like a general lost a battle because of something he just decided not to do what Lincoln had told him to do and he was obviously furious because it was so black and white. Like you didn't do what you were supposed to do and you lost and he wrote a raging letter and he ended up never sending it because a lot of the times your reaction to things can just make the problem worse if you react with anger and aggressively so um I like how I added aggressively I, I changed my tone too I was like aggressively all right so that is it guys I will see you all very soon I hope you guys are loving our videos and if you are don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below if you have any different thoughts opinions questions you've had experiences like this um yeah that's it guys I love you I will see you over on my main channel my vlog channel and all over the interwebs 
Bye, guys.